Hello, my good friends. Thank you for stopping by today. I'm Peggy Lou, and I'm crazy for retro. Norm just thinks I'm plain crazy, but that's okay. Today I want to share with you a different kitchen theme I have recently inherited from my kind brother again a very large collection of roosters and hens. He had my mother's collection all these years. My mother, our mother, passed away in the year 2000 and at that time I couldn't take all those roosters. It was a big collection and my brother added to them also. So I've been spending the past month cleaning a lot of the items that we brought from his house because they were in storage for many years. So they all needed washing. So I am happy to show you a different theme then today where I took a lot of those very large roosters, like the one on top of the refrigerator, and asked Norm to spray paint them for me because they were way too detailed and very flat finish. Just not my style. But they look pretty cool now, I think, so I'll be anxious to hear what you think of them. I decided to use turquoise yellow and red as my main color scheme this time. So this is different. I will show you some of the items close up that I have thrifted. This cookie jar I thrifted a year ago. It is um, very cute. It does uh, say Taiwan I believe on the bottom. It's uh, really sweet. It did need a little touch up on the red parts. And I've been doing a lot of that too with the roosters that came from my brother Steve and, and my mother, my mother's collection. A lot of them needed to be touched up. So I've been painting a lot too. So let's go look at some of the things up close that I've changed. First of all, I decided to put a vintage metal gold rack underneath the shelving here because we usually have large bottles of water. I don't have the water there now for you to see. I took the jugs of water away and just put some fun things down there. That little tiny cooler I think is older because it says Polaroid on it. I don't know. It says Coca-Cola on the lid, but I got it from my father. My dad has been gone since the year 2009, and it's a very tiny one, so we keep it handy up here because we often, when we go out and about, we really want some water bottles to bring with us because we always get thirsty. So here's some of the Pyrex. You've seen much of it before. If you're new to my channel, I'm very grateful that you're here. And I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. I have many videos that I've been doing in just a year's time of the kitchen and dining room and of course our other rooms too that I hope you will be able to go look at. I won't talk about the makers of these different sets. I do have the small bowl that goes with this rooster set. It's one of my favorite. I'm not sure who made that one. The red one just came from my brother's house. It is scratched up, but it still shows okay. So I added that in there. 
all of the turquoise Pyrex is from my brother, Steve. He is five years older than I am and he is downsizing, as I've mentioned in many of my videos. And he's been very, very sweet and given me all of these turquoise Pyrex pieces and a lot of pink I have in the basement. I've shown that in other holiday videos. I collected a lot of the red and yellow myself. I also, a um, couple years or more back, got very interested in milk glass. So I started collecting these nesting hens. I thought they would be very fun mixed out here with the Pyrex and the glass pitchers. So I have some of them. I hope I'm not going too fast for you, but these videos get very long because I do have a lot to show you. Let's go back down to the, the pictures. This is a fairly new patterned one that I was excited to find. Oh, I forgot to mention actually what's different about this um, mixture of colors out here is that I've added pictures with black on them. I have not shown them yet. Uh, for a summer video, I may have had some of them out for Halloween. So they are different. This is a smaller juice one. This is a new one, that there one. And it's not as fancy a shape. That is more of your anchor hawking shape. And up higher, I will show you what the Hazel Atlas fancier ones look like. But I don't know who made that, if that would be anchor hawking or not. But it's an extremely heavy picture, but I got a really good deal on it. So I couldn't resist because it was yellow and black, and I wanted to mix the black in this time because... The roosters that I like finding are the black and white stylized ones. They're my favorite. This was fairly new and I have shown it already. It does have the rooster weather vane theme. And there's the rooster top of the weather vane. And there's the cupola. I think that's how you say it. I always say it wrong. I don't know why I can't remember it, but so that's a fun one to mix in. Now this one I don't believe I've ever shown a climbing rose, I'm assuming, because that looks like an arbor trellis. Very fun one, but I don't believe I ever used that for a Valentine video because I stuck with pink and red and white. And some green, of course. So up here is just some of your smaller bowls from different makers. And this is an odd one that I've always liked. I haven't bothered to collect more bowls from that. I'm happy just having that one. And this beautiful one is from my brother. Very happy to have that. I don't put lids often out here on a lot of them. I do up above on the highest row of my Pyrex up there, but I didn't happen to put a lid on there. It does make it heavier. And just, you know, to show it to you and for me to, Norm and I, to enjoy, I don't really need a lot of lids on them. And there's another one from my brother. And up there is one on that end and there's one on the other end that's the same so actually this one is smaller this is the bigger size one up there the biggest 
Okay, here I had mentioned that we did find for $10 a new phone, new old phone. So we were tickled to find that in an antique store last month. This I found for 10 maybe or less. It's a little wall pocket. I don't have any greenery coming out of it, but I liked the black and red and cream color. So I do change, often change what's hanging up there over the phone. This one I may not have shown yet. Quite fun. Of course, there's a little green in some of these pictures. I just have a hard time getting away from that when you find your red and white and yellow. A lot of times you'll find green in it too. This was also a new purchase for only $18. I thought it was a steal. Very happy to find that. The place that we found it at was a little old barn type sale in Princeton, Minnesota. They have a neat shop and they have lots of vintage things. So both those pictures that I said were new, the yellow and black one, were from there and they were both $18 each and they had more. Lots more pictures. This one I don't know if I've ever shown, but I was trying to stick with geometric ones up here as best as I could. This one I don't know if I've ever shown. I don't think so because of the black on it. And it is more pink, of course, instead of being red. But I did want to show you. It's one of Norm's favorites. He picked that one out. I've probably shown that one and this one in a fall one. And Norm picked out that one too. And I've shown that in the winter months. So there is the upper shelves. It's very hard for me. I should be using the selfie stick. I kind of intended to do that and forgot. So I know I've shown you these casseroles before and all of my milk glass planters up there that I so enjoy switching around in the living room and in the dining room when I want to have a pair I found quite a few duplicates so I can have a pair and all of those carafes are from my brother and more he still has way more at his house I just don't have any room for anything more as you can imagine since you've seen a lot of our things already. So it's been a real challenge because we've gone over there in the past month two times and brought home many, many things, filled our van. So it's, like I say, been a real challenge, but a lot of it was my mother's too. I'm talking bringing home afghans and quilts and a lot of things. I showed this in a recent thrift haul. Very fun to find them. That was the one that needed gluing that I mentioned. The trivet or the tile was not glued on when I got it. So I did hand paint the black in flat enamel, testers flat enamel, because it badly needed it. I did not touch up this one could use a little freshening up, but it's fine. And this is a Holt Howard trivet. Both thrifted items from uh, Goodwill. At least one of them. So I thought they went really cute together for a change to bring some black over there. I've had this tiny little vintage brush whisk broom for a long time. I've had old stuff sitting in drawers around here so I was kind of looking around through the drawers to see what I could find that was harvest gold. And those are my old butterfly magnets. I did show them last summer. 
and I have been looking for one of my butterflies got moved a little bit there bumped um, I have been looking for more black and yellow hot pads hot pads pot holders I keep calling them hot pads you know what I mean I guess they should be referred to as pot holders this one is very very fun I do like that and I did show this little clip here on Instagram it seemed everyone liked it I found this for six dollars in an antique shop it's probably 50s plastic little wall pocket or planter I've got old plastic flowers in there as you can see the butterflies stick way out someone had glued three very heavy-duty magnets on it so I am using it on the fridge I probably would have hung it on the wall if there were no magnets on it but I'm happy actually that it worked out that way and up here is where I did mention this rooster was all by his lonesome in my brother's collection it was the biggest one he had and it was very dull and losing paint needed a bad scrubbing and I just wanted it spray painted in a fun red color because there's so much detail to see you just don't really need the detail of many colors anymore when you have such such a fancy fancy rooster like that it's fun in just red or yellow and you'll see in the dining room how I had him spray two other big sets not quite as big as him but they're plenty big over here I have a red radio I'm not sure if that's a 50s or a 60s one but it is only AM I don't recall if I did try that just the other day to see if it was working but I think it was pretty staticky sounding and I just wanted to show it to you and have it there as an example of something you might have seen in the 60s uh, woman in her kitchen would probably enjoy very much listening to the radio so off and on I have put radios out here for the fun of it and been able to listen to AM stations these salt and pepper shakers I just found just a week ago for only $4.99 they were actually still in the cardboard um, packaging very cute graphics on it and you could tell they were old very 70s 60s 70s looking with the good old harvest gold tops on them so that was kind of fun to know that they were never used and I thought oh, it was a great price so as you can tell I have been looking for more harvest gold things for our kitchen to have a fun vintage look this is an old toothpick holder that I've had up in the cupboards for years I found that somewhere maybe a thrift store garage sale if you press down on it the whole thing kind of collapses a, a bit enough to push up a toothpick and I thought of it as being um, rocket style or bullet style very retro cool so I thought I would share that got it out of my cupboards I've shown you both of these items before when I did a yellow and red kitchen an old calico lucite napkin holder and cute little tea bag holder up here the rooster salt and pepper set is from my brother and I did touch up the red paint on them they have a cork 
bottoms so I I believe they they may have been stamped Japan on the bottoms I can't remember but I think they are Japan and I've had that little cruet by Hazel Atlas for a long time I've had this rooster for a long time this one was all by its lonesome too when I found it and then these are from my brother the two on the left are set and the one on the right is close a little bit different grass color on the bottom but very close it's always nice to have three I've already shown you these pot holders in other videos but this clock is recently brought home from my brother's house it really needed a lot of TLC we took it all apart so I could wash all the plastic parts separately and I had to use a toothbrush in all those little crevices I may not have even gotten everything perfectly but I really worked hard on that because my brother probably thrifted a lot of the things that were in this particular room in his basement um, they're just kind of piled up in there a lot of kitchen old kitchen items and lamps and things like that he used to be in an antique shop very close to where he lives but that building changed hands and my brother decided to not be there anymore but um, this was not clean so I believe that he had a lot of these cute clocks that I brought home from his house I've been working on them and I'm excited to be showing them to you all eventually as my color schemes change uh, this one was in pretty bad shape some of them aren't too bad but I am very grateful uh, I was grateful to see that it was running when I brought it home and plugged it in but I wish Norm could have gotten a chance to try to figure out how to oil it too I guess there's there's a lot of videos on the internet that will tell you how to clean and refurbish old clocks like that so that is what's about the stove down here this was from my brother's house too it is an old old ashtray I can't imagine anybody having a pig ashtray but it was probably used out in the kitchen anyways um, I put it there for Norm to put a raw egg in um, set it there because our stove seems to be um, at an angle it seems to be higher and back something that Norm has just not gotten around to seeing if he could level so if you put an egg on our stove top while he's frying his bacon it wants to roll off it doesn't want to stay in place so it's just handy to have something there it'll fit two eggs I was pretty excited to find this adorable little tea kettle I'm not sure I don't think it's a whistling kind I didn't try it out but it was in really really nice condition at the Goodwill just last week for $6.99 and I got 20% off so that's about five dollars and sixty cents yeah so it's by Miro it's darker on the bottom and lighter on the top it's really really clean inside so maybe it wasn't used very much but I sure liked the color combination there that was fun to find and I did find this really nice tray in excellent condition at Up Your Alley Vintage in New Richmond Wisconsin a month ago very reasonable and just last weekend in an antique shop in Anoka Minnesota called the White House or the Big White House I forget but it's a really big beautiful White House it's a two-floor antique 
shop. Really, really fun. I always find great things there. This was in really good condition. Uh, Austin, Minnesota is where we have very well known Hormel Company. And it was $4.99 or $4.95, I think. Really, really inexpensive, I thought. I have a drawer next to me, the ref next to the stove here, tiny skinny drawer that is full of old Tupperware little things. I've got yellow, red, white, orange, and lime green um, spoon sets. Whenever I'd find those little old Tupperware measuring spoons, I I'd pick them up at the thrift stores. They're so cute. And I use them. I've been using them for decades. This is a fun mixer cover that I've had for decades. Possibly homemade, but I sure like the colors on it. Very cheery. Nice red piping. It's held up really well through many washings. And I thought I would show you this uh, fun echo beater. I have another beater downstairs. I forget who made that one, but it has the wooden trim handles. And it is a little worn, the paint, of course. Not bad. It still looks very nice. And a lot of people like that. But this one I thought I'd show you because I like it. It's plastic. Red plastic. So it's in really great condition. So I just thought I'd throw that in. And here's a hand mixer that I did show in my last kitchen video. The one that we got from Up Your Alley. It is by Hamilton Beach. And here's the door. Everything's nice and tidy in there. If you hear the funny noise in the background, it's that old clock next to me. The old kitchen clock is a little noisy. Probably could use a good, good oiling. I was also very happy to find this at Bibles for Missions, this nut chopper. It's in really, really great condition. Doesn't look like it was used much. The wooden, there is a wooden uh, disc in the bottom and I did soak it and clean it really well, dried it out real well. This was only a $1.99 and there was another one there too that was a different design, I can't remember, different color, but uh, this Harvest Gold one looked like the better of the two to me. I was very happy to find that. There's some of my recipe boxes. Up Your Alley gifted us this middle one and I probably mentioned that in a previous kitchen video. That was very, very nice of them. One of their many kind gifts for doing those videos of their wonderful, wonderful mall. We absolutely love it there. This here, paper towel, wax paper, and foil holder I would enjoy having it mounted on the wall to the right of this stove where I have that first little reticulated black shelf that I showed you over the radio. I would rather have this over there and I would put the foil in it and the wax paper. I would not, however, put towel in there. We do have a very nice paper towel holder. I bought some Harvest Gold paint that we will eventually paint this wooden section, the, the two sides. We like that. It works really well. But back to this from my brother. Um, the inside is just in mint condition. There's no rust. The only rust I'm seeing is on the copper parts. So that's why I would like to have it spray painted in Harvest Gold also. 
it would match the inside. I don't think there's any way of getting the copper doors off just to spray paint them separately. But we'll we'll think about it. I I'm not crazy about the orange or the copper. Um, I would like it to be usable and have it actually up on the wall for all year long. So I think the gold would be much more neutral. So that's what's over in this area. And that's our old Kleenex box that I had explained before that I jerry-rigged under the cupboards there with just some a couple of nails and some uh, pulled open paper clips hung through the back holes there and it it hangs up just great it's so handy to grab Kleenex out here instead of always taking paper towel so that's what's over in this corner I will show you the potholder oh here comes a helicopter whoa they are so loud very loud I've got just red and yellow ones that I could find a couple strawberries there this one is new I just found it for four dollars in an antique store I was really surprised it was so little because it's very nicely done it could be fairly new and it's big so I thought I got a real deal and this is what was over the hood this little red crazy probably hobbyist bird has holes big holes in its beak and a plug a yellow plastic plug in the bottom I believe it's for cleanser so I put it out here I thrifted that probably five years ago and I showed you this in my last kitchen video I found this little thing for six dollars in a antique store and I did have to fix the red on it now up here I hope I don't have too much glare I should get over this way instead of looking right into the Sun there's my beaded plant hanger that I made many years ago and an old vintage uh, pottery pot with a tray I like that it's a little bit off-white on the window ledge here are two what I think are really old off-white rooster planters they were from my brother's house I don't know if that's something that he thrifted many years ago or if my mother had them and I don't know that either about the two in the middle these have a very flat paint on them which I'm not crazy about but no time to repaint them right now the feet and the the crown and gobbler and eyes and beak all of that is very flat but they have crazing on them they're just a nice little planter and since they're off-white they do just fine in the kitchen window here I just painted the red parts on these two large more stylized artsy looking pieces they're heavy and the red part was kind of a mauve pink did not like that not my color so I like them this way but they are very different here's one of our little mallard ducks in the pond preening she uh, came up to the patio by the bird feeder and I threw some corn out for her she's uh, another one that comes here separately sometimes I don't know why I'll see them in pairs and then often they're by themselves it's not 
easy to figure that out. I know we have like two pairs and one single lonely guy, we call him. I have some flowers to plant out there, some zinnias that don't get too big. The garden is growing very well, except way in back. The rabbits have completely chewed up my sunflowers. I have like eight different groupings of very tall sunflowers and they've managed to break them all down and chew them up badly. So I don't know how they're going to turn out this year. I've had better luck other years. We haven't gone out and sat on the swing yet. There's some of my frogs. I love two little frogs sitting in a funny old aluminum planter up there on the top of the biofalls that's uh, shaped like a, an old boat. So they're kind of cute. The robin, not robins, the robins, yes, they're everywhere. The bluebirds have been, well, there's something poking out of the house right now. The bluebirds were very interested in that house just last week and looked like they were building in it. This large metal heron type bird we just found at, I'm trying to remember where were we when we saw that. Oh, our favorite garden center near our home. Yes, that's something that Norm surprised me and said, would you like that? in the backyard to look at and I said of course I would that's wonderful over here I showed this cute cross stitch toaster cover I thrifted the little black and white hot pad last fall I think I like having it sitting on a hot pad because I can slide it forward very easily without scratching the countertop. It's so handy just to have it on a hot pad. Doesn't hurt the hot pad at all. This I was thrilled to see in my brother's basement. It has the cord and all the insides. It's in really minty condition. What was the brand on that? It says Empire in that white section there. Yeah, Empire. So I thought it was adorable to show you. I was so happy. And this, I'm already forgetting where I got this blender from, Hamilton Beach. Hmm. That's strange that I'm not remembering, but it was a recent purchase. Very happy to find it. So cute. Uh, these were two more roosters from my brother. I did repaint the tops. And a lot of you have probably seen how other thrifters have found these great big silver plate casserole fancy holders. And I found one just a week ago at Family Pathways. Couldn't believe my eyes because I did think it was a very cute idea. Um, I would like it spray painted someday because I don't care for the patina on sterling. And I'm not that big into silver. I don't think anybody's going to care. It was marked $6.00. But can you believe it? It was a green sticker last week was half price. So I got this fancy, fancy holder for $3. And then I went way in the back room at the same store and I found one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the smaller Better Homes and Gardens, really cute cookbooks, all in excellent condition. I just wiped them down with a, 
um, lemon pledge wipe. I wipe off the whole cover carefully and dust the pages. So they were all really, really clean and they were a dollar a piece. Now that is the best price I've ever paid for a vintage, you know, small cookbook. Normally they could be at the cheapest, a dollar ninety nine and and then some. But um I do have some of my other older Betty Crocker ones, the big red ones in the back. But these smaller, better homes and garden ones, not the big ones like in back, they actually fit perfectly, you know, from the other direction. So they could be a whole pile of them coming towards us where you would see the cover from this end. They do fit, but not the red ones and not the big one in back. They don't fit that way. So I just put them in this way to show something cute that way um, as I'm filming here. Up here, I did manage to get a lot of red and yellow dishes, mugs, glasses for you to see. I have shown a lot of these previously in other yellow and red or uh, Christmassy or Valentine videos, the red, of course, Easter, the yellow things. These are our favorite porcelain mugs from the 60s. I am so happy when I find a set of those. And uh, you know I've, if you've been Watching my videos, you know I've been collecting for a long time the glass bake D-handle mugs. And there's some different ones that are stackable, not D. Well, I don't know if they call those D-handle or not. And way up there are some very tall mugs. And way up is even more of the fancy crafts from my brother. Well, I worked at pressing this old tablecloth. It's nice red and yellow colors. I've had it for quite a while. There's my recently thrifted this past fall rooster, funny old retro rooster basket that I put some lemons in. So let's go look at what we did with some big roosters from my brother and mother over here. Look at those roosters. I like it when they show the black and white ones. I'll spare you of the crowing. A lot of you that have watched my videos know that I have shown the large amount of uh, friendship Pyrex, most of it from my brother. So sweet of him. And that was the first set that I brought home from his house. He wanted to hang on to the pink Pyrex for quite a while, but now he says he doesn't even care about that. Anyways, I asked Norm after really, really cleaning up these very flat finished rooster sets. They were colored a little different. Uh, they, well, first I had him paint one set um, in yellow and then the other set in red. So they are considered fighting roosters, which I don't care for. So I didn't want to pose them together. So they look like they were fighting. The other smaller set in the background, I decided to do in white. And because they were small, I decided to prop them up with a couple little custard cups that kind of look like hay. They look like a basket weave. I have a set of those in a bowl. So these were very, as you can see, they are really big. 
they were very, very colorful again, but it, they were also losing paint and very pale and flat finish. So we used, uh, I think the red is, I know the red is a high gloss. I'm not sure if we managed to find a high gloss in that nice yellow. There is a very, very bright yellow that I didn't care for. It was way too rich. This is a softer yellow. I'm trying to remember if that was called mellow. Mel mellow yellow, <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. But anyways, um, this is what I decided to do was split up the pairs. So you would have yellow and red and red and yellow in my cabinet just for some fun to go with these glasses. I have a set of 10 of these little rose glasses. Not sure what kind of a rose that is, but these were purchased, oh man, six, seven years ago, long time ago. I am grateful to have them. And up here I used a pair of my hobnail planters and this was another big set. Now same thing with these, dull paint loss, way too much color. And look at how nice they look. Just a very simple, clean look with my, my, uh, milk glass plates. A lot of you have seen my milk glass plates and we have lights up there, a string of lights that we have a little remote we can use to turn them on for some ambiance if we want. I love my milk glass plate collection. Many of you have asked if you see this for the first time, you always wonder how do I hang them? I string nylon fishing line about a third of the way down. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Right there, it's tied on the left there. If you can follow where that is, it's only about a third of the way down. You don't want to go any lower or that plate could hang out from the wall from too much slack. So that's how I do it. I have like 14 pound, 20 pound fishing line, clear fishing line. And make sure you give yourself enough slack by sticking a scissors underneath that threaded nylon fishing line from one side to the other. You need to stick something underneath it before you tie it tight because you're gonna need enough slack to go up and over the nail. So you get a point for it to hang on and to bend that point. Eventually it will kind of make a dent in that point. There's a nice patriotic one. The little white mark in the center is a label I put on back. It kind of shows through. I shouldn't have labels on the backs of them. You can see it in some of them where they're a little more translucent plates like that one too. And I should just take those off. There's the kitties. I know a lot of you have seen these, but any of you that are new may not have had the chance to see my old videos yet. I've thrifted all of them really cheap. I only paid a few dollars, like, I don't know if it was like three dollars for this monster one. Just love it. I guess milk glass just wasn't selling that well. You can find these all over the thrift stores. They're very big serving plates and I've paid anywhere from 99 cents to five dollars for some of them. Over here I have a California original rooster that I thought would be fun to get something black over there and of course 
It's just an odd one. I don't have the mate. It was broken, evidently. This um, is a nice plate that was hand painted. I have several with flowers painted on them. I like them too. Some of them are yellow flowers. I didn't put up any more. This is a thrifted planter and the um, beaded plant hanger also. I haven't gone up here very much at all. I know this is making my video long, but I have changed our valance up here. I have like about three different valances. Two of them are red and white check. The other one is a much bigger check. And I love these particular large plates up there, especially the middle one. These I've shown before. They're very California type originals also. Found them a long time ago. They are a kind of a tiny bit of a green tinge to that yellow, a little odd yellow. But I love them, very tall. Found them at the state fairgrounds. This, my old cart that I have down here, I have shown fairly recently that I have a very old 70s, probably West Bend, large 30 cup coffee server, coffee maker. That's fun to have down there for a good part of the year. Sometimes I hang a towel on this fun little cart and I propped up these roosters from my mother's collection. They are a good size. I had to repaint them also. I propped them up with a refrigerator dish, Pyrex, and I've had this enamel plate for quite a while. This one said 20 different roosters growing. And it tells what kind they are. I really admire people that are raising their own chickens. I just think that is so cool. You know, I'm bird crazy, but I think I would be afraid of them. I think they would bite. I don't know. I see people holding them all the time and they don't seem to be getting bit. So I don't know enough about them. I just think they're beautiful. Uh, their feathers are, their faces aren't so beautiful to me, but look at that one. Oh, I'm sorry for the lines that you get um, with our TV. That was fancy, huh? This is a pretty interesting video because it tells you what they are. I will leave a link to this one. Anyways, let's get back over to this shelf here. I decided I had enough things that were cute to put on this shelf that were that had black on them since I was trying to do way more black in this video um, a lot of times like for Easter and that I look at some of these farm animals and planters this is a little planter I found many years ago so cute this is, comes apart. I think the top piece is a salt shaker or something. It's a very um, common. I've run across sets of these, but I happen to just find this one real reasonable. And uh, the l little donkey and um, skunk there, both thrifted, very fun items. They don't look quite as good when you're putting out Easter stuff, of, of course, because of the black on them. So I'm glad I just happened to think of how much fun it would be to put these up here. And this one is a very tiny little planter. Fits just great up here on the top. So that was happy, happy thoughts. Sometimes I think of these things when I should be sleeping. I get my best creativity going. 
<laughs> 11, 12 o'clock at night when I should be asleep. Here's one of my customers. Norma always says, you got a customer at the door? I feed those silly animals. They're spoiled rotten. Yeah, I'll have to go get him something to eat. Hold on. This is what I'm giving him. A couple of Triscuits that are, not Triscuits, I'm sorry, Wheat Thins. A couple of Wheat Thins that are hard as rock crackers and don't break when you throw them out the door. And I put either peanut butter or some nut butter or something in between, trying to keep them healthy. Some of them get sick in the spring. They get skin problems, and one of them here was very, very injured. So I feel sorry for them, and I try to give them something healthier. So that's what I'm going to give them. Well, this is a new addition back in April. We went antiquing in Hutchinson, Minnesota area. There are three big antique shops. And I saw this for $12 and thought it was absolutely adorable. It's a very little compared to most plant stands. Very sweet. Um, it, they said you can hang it up because it's so small if you want, but I didn't want to do that. But anyways, um, of course Norm said, where are you going to put that? It was our anniversary in April, so Norm was saying, pick out some gifts for your anniversary, which was very sweet, so I picked out this. I have some vintage pots there, and uh, my one of my swans that happened to be a yellow, the only yellow one I have, and that is by Red Wing. Okay, the last area that we haven't looked at yet. I see I'm getting glare on this vintage, um, what do you call these things, a letter holder? For bills, letters, miscellaneous. Very nice condition. There's only one little spot on the left there where the kind of a varnish maybe was coming off. But basically no rust. This belonged to a friend of the family. She is gone now, but she had an estate sale when she moved out of her home, sold her home. So I decided to put it here for you to see for the fun of it, since I'm putting in so many roosters today. Some are mine, some my mother's, some my brother's. This is a set from my brother again. I did not get the eye or beak touched up on him, just a little black spot for the eye and maybe a little yellow on the beak, but I did work on the red part. So much to do, but I do like that set. Very simple. I've shown this in uh, last spring, this pair. So that's what I meant by typically what I was first buying when I decided I liked roosters either milk glass or this black and white and red combination. Now this one I really like. I'm stretching as far as I can. From my brother, I think it is really cool, even though it has green in it. It's just very neat. I like it very much. Big feet. The windows are spotty and I apologize again for that from the rain. And they just come right up to the door. They're not too afraid of us. If they see us opening the door to throw some out, they'll, they'll back away just a little bit, but they'll stand there and wait. Here he comes, and then they enjoy 
running over to the stream and get a drink. These are wild geraniums and they seed themselves. So over here on this side of the yard, not on the other side, but you can see they've come up all over. If you put down a lot of preen, you're not going to get all those free flowers, but then you got to deal with more weeds. So this we call, this guy we call Lonely Guy because he's usually by himself. He's been around for years. We have two pairs. I'm sorry, we have the hose over there. Our hose leaks a little bit. So we don't want it leaking onto the lawn. We'd rather it was leaking into the pond. It's very hard to shut off from the outside valve. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my crazy rooster and hen kitchen for June. This is June 1st. Later, like maybe August, I will work with a fruit theme out here and we'll see what we can come up with. I have lots of things that have fruit on them, pictures and we'll see. So I wish you all a blessed rest of your spring and summer and we will see you again soon. Thanks so much for your great support. We really appreciate you. Norm says hi. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.